I've had a pretty good weekend. I played some games, watched some football, England won the Six Nations, and I saw the internet do a great fucking thing. An actual achievement, mind. Anyone who saw the women's march as an achievement would hang their head in shame at this story of courage, persistence, and wisdom. As with all good stories, we begin at the inauguration of Donald Trump, who had recently been elected as President of the United States. Many people cried for no foreseeable reason, and then there came an epidemic of literal shaking, which is when one young man, Shia LaBeouf by name, stood up against the apparently evil president by co-creating an art exhibition outside the Museum of Moving Image in Queens, New York. Art. That was the word he used. Art. It's a fucking live stream lasting four years over an empty space. That's not art, is it? That's a fucking security camera. Well, Shia LaBeouf agreed and thought what would make this more of an exhibition. He didn't have to look any further than a snappy catchphrase, some stencils, and a bucket of paint. By adding, he will not divide us, and leading the party in chanting the words every couple of seconds, he done gone made himself some art. Way to go, Charlotte Booth. Hundreds showed up for the first day on the 20th of January, and the whole thing seemed to be a roaring success. But then it went wrong, didn't it? As if there was ever going to be a public livestream for four fucking years without anyone having a bit of a laugh. We had Moonface. This legend. Hey, Shia. Hey. What's up? Bang, bang. Hitler did nothing wrong. And my personal favorite. He will not divide us. 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 He will not get the fuck out! 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 He will not divide us. Neither will fucking he. So don't come out here if you're a troll. He will not divide us. Divide us. But things got a bit too much for Shia LaBeouf, who lashed out at one person and screamed into the ear of another. And I don't know about you, but I'd knock a man out if he did that to me. So he got arrested a mere five days after the project's unveiling. Not for that, but for assaulting someone in front of his own art exhibition where there was a fucking live stream running 24-7. Like, how the fuck did you forget about that one, Shia LaBeouf? At least entice them around the fucking corner first, you know, get out of the view with the fucking camera you put there, you fucking spanner. Anyway, he was whisked away to the police station to be processed, charged, and have a mugshot taken. The mugshot of a man who truly thinks he's a martyr of some kind, despite being guilty of assault. Maybe if he could show this level of emotion in his profession, he'd still be doing the Transformers films. So on February 10th, citing the recent events and many others, the Museum of Moving Image said, no, Charlotte Booth, no, we can't have that shit happening on our fucking doorstep, mate, you know? Are you fucking mad, son? And the project was shut down. The stream showing only an image stating, the museum has abandoned us. A mere 21 days into the proposed four-year installation. Personally, I think saying the museum has divided us would have been a better way of putting it, but I guess that would be admitting defeat. And speaking of defeat, Charlotte Booth wasn't having any of it. Rising defiantly in the face of such audacious censorship, sure it was on very fucking reasonable grounds, but no, no! He took his project to Albuquerque, New Mexico, who were desperate to be known for anything other than that fuck annoying song about hot dogs and jumping frogs. They were like, yeah, Shia LaBeouf, get your ass in here, and unveiled the exhibition. And thank goodness, the beacon of hope was returned that Trump might one day look upon the stream and think to himself, well shit, what if I never divide them? Because that's why he became president in the first place, isn't it? But you know, things still got a little bit out of hand. Though relocated to a nice little spot outside the El Rey Theatre, and despite Shia LaBeouf's intent to make it a safer space, which I can only assume meant he wouldn't be going there, well, first some guy showed off his strap while saying, fuck Donald Trump and his supporters. I know, right? Supporters is a long word for such a fucking moron. I guess America's gonna be okay after all. Anyway, that happened, and then two days later, someone had obviously just had enough and sprayed the fucking camera with paint. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, it must be a heist. 
But who robs a fucking theatre? I've only ever seen it get butchered. But this and the events following on the 23rd of February, which reported gunshots in the local area, God bless America, rendered the exhibition kaput. As if the stream itself wasn't proof enough. And this is when Shia LaBeouf reached his limit. No more will there be people, he thought. No longer will there be chanting, he decided, and with an utmost vehemence, he slammed his fist down on the desk, the desk of his mind, I'm sure I have no citation for any of this, and decreed no more trolls. So, on the 8th of March, an improved project was revealed. Foolproof, thought Shia LaBeouf, as he logged on to the live stream to see the first moments of his brand spanking new design. That's right, it's a fucking flag, flying for four fucking years. Ah, he must have thought, I have eliminated the human aspect of the exhibition, I have not revealed the location of this project, and now it will fly, disturbed only by the turbulence in the air. I have outsmarted them, he thought to himself. My art is safe. The very next evening. By tracking the time of the sunset, 4chan users managed to get a general idea of where in the US the flag stream was being held, by then correlating passing aircraft on the stream with information about what plane was where at what time and really fucking lucking out when three planes cross paths, these same users triangulated the position of the flag in question, but this still gave them a very wide area to work with. So they used the fucking stars, the fucking stars, to give themselves a small enough area that a local user could drive around beeping his horn as the others strained to hear it over the live stream. And then, the flag was taken down, live on the internet, for all the world to see. Thus ended the most epic game of capture the flag, and to add a hearty dose of salt to the wound, it was replaced with a Make America Great Again hat and a Pepe t-shirt. Praise Kekistan people, Shadilay. The flag itself now resides in someone's bedroom, meaning there is still potential for a new live stream. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, if you meet Shia LaBeouf, make sure you have either a witness or a gun. Oh and also, fuck Shia LaBeouf, the last good film we did was fucking Holes.